The Ithaca College women's gymnastics teams wrapped up their season last weekend with a fourth place finish at the NCGA National Championships. Along the way, they set program records in overall score and on the bars. Three members of the team became All-American. Sky Cohen was one of them, finishing third in the all-around competition. Amelia Bailey and Jillian Freeman were the other two, tying for sixth on the balance beam. In a bit of a stunner, Tampa Bay Buccaneers head coach Bruce Arians announced he will be retiring and moving into the team's front office as senior football consultant. Arians coached eight years with the Arizona Cardinals and Buccaneers, winning a Super Bowl in 2021, as well as AP NFL Coach of the Year twice. He will hand the head coaching keys over to defensive coordinator Todd Bowles, who is 24 and 40 as head coach of the New York Jets. However, Bowles will have a much better chance to succeed than with the Jets, having a loaded roster led by Tom Brady. Arians will go into the Bucks' ring of honor this season. It wasn't pretty, but the United States men's soccer team is going to the World Cup. Due to tiebreaker rules, all the team had to do was not lose by six to Costa Rica on Wednesday, and they accomplished that, losing two to nothing. With that, they avoid the humiliation they faced in 2018 when they lost to Trinidad and Tobago in the final game and missed out on the tournament entirely. The U.S. will learn what teams they have to beat in the group stage tonight when their draws are announced. MLB has announced a new form of baseball called Home Run Derby X. The New York Yankees, Boston Red Sox, Chicago Cubs, and Los Angeles Dodgers will take part, playing in Seoul, Mexico City, and London. It will look a little different than the baseball we're used to, with an elevated mound and a home plate, and a smaller field of play. Batters will earn points by hitting home runs and hitting targets, while the defense can earn points by catching balls in the field of play. There will also only be four players per team, a former player, a softball or women's baseball star, a player from the region's local development system, and an influential content creator. I have no clue what this will look like, but think Toy Field from Mario Superstar Baseball mixed with Home Run Derby mixed with MVP Baseball 2005's batting minigame. Now let's take a look at games to watch. It's the top two teams in the West tonight as at 8 when the Phoenix Suns go against the Memphis Grizzlies. The teams have split the season series so far. The Suns are on a nine-game winning streak, and the Grizzlies are on a six-game winning streak. MLB opening day is next Thursday, and it all starts at 1 with the biggest rivalry in the sport, the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. It will be a rematch of the AL wildcard game, which the Red Sox won 6-2. Nathan Navaldi and Garrett Cole, the starters of that game, will also be on the bump. That's all in sports. Let's head back to the desk.